I want to talk about a little bit of a fun trick that you can do in Unreal Engine. Because have you ever had the situation where you want to know when a certain value gets updated so that you can easily run certain functions in response to that? Something like a health bar would be a good example. If we have a health bar, uh, this is just a garbage project for me, so it's a little bit unorganized. Uh, but let's say that we have a health bar, right? Let's make a widget blueprint here. Just a user widget, let's call it something like a health bar. We'll put in a size box, uh, let's say desired size. Uh, the width will be 300, and then the height will be like 20 or something like that. And in there, we can put in a progress bar. And this is the basic idea of a health bar, right? We now can fill up this health bar up to a value of 1 and then back to a value of 0. But what you've probably been doing so far is going in here and in the event tick every single frame set the percentage and do that based on some kind of input from uh, the actor that owns this. What you can actually do instead is if we make a quick actor here somewhere, I'm just going to, again, uh, don't mind the mess in this project. Uh, let's just make a quick actor here uh, and call this like health actor or something like that. We'll give this a cube as a static mesh uh, component just to have some visualization. And then we'll give this a widget as well. The widget that it will display will be our health bar, something like that. Doesn't need to be particularly fancy right now. But let's go into the event graph, uh, make a variable for the health, and uh, that'll be a float. Ideally, you would also have a max health value, of course, uh, but for now, that doesn't really matter that much. Actually, let's just make a max health as well, just so that we have everything uh, going as we should. Uh, so the max health will just set to 100 to have it be easy. Then on begin play, we'll set our health to our max health. So we always start with full health on this guy. Now, this is the thing that I wanted to highlight in this video, is instead of sending through this health value every single frame of your game, which is not a huge deal, but also not ideal, right? What you can do is we can actually uh, go into this health value and we can set its replication to rep notify. And this is actually a feature that's supposed to be used for like server interaction at telling the server when a value gets updated so that the server can run a certain function and then make sure that all the clients are like up to date with each other. But even if you're making a single player game, this is still a feature that you can use because this makes a, a function here on rep health and this function will run anytime we update the health value again supposed to be done like on a server to make clients all uh, be in parity with each other but you can very much just use this as like a little bit of a hacky way to make sure that a certain function runs when certain values gets updated so now in here we can very easily say well, let's get the widget then we get the widget out of that which is a normal widget uh, reference so we need to cast to the health bar and then we can get the progress bar and we can set the percentage on it just as easily as that. And of course, we do need to connect up these execution pins. And now we can simply say, hey, our uh, health and our max health, let's get that. We have the new health value now. Uh, we'll get our health divided by our max health. That's going to be the percentage of our health that we have. And that's going to go into the set percent node. And now this will update anytime we update the health value. Uh, now let's make a quick custom event here real quick uh, just to like uh, deal damage and that deal damage is going to uh, set our health which you can see has set with notify now uh, to our current health like let's say minus a parameter that we put in something simple like that and then we don't need to do anything else fancy uh, we don't need to update the actual uh, progress bar, the health bar in this, because we do that on the rep notify. And the wonderful thing about this is if we have multiple pieces of code that could potentially be interacting with this value, like we have a heal function, as well as a deal damage function, as well as a like tick damage function, whatever, right? All those different things might be changing our health value, and we don't want to add the same function every single time to every single one of uh, those events because that's just tedious to do especially when you scale up your game a little bit and uh, just having it automatically be linked to the value is a lot easier so now let's go into my uh, player character oh and actually in the player character we already have our uh, debug 
he uh, sets up because of a t previous tutorial which will like deal damage to active standard overlaps with so matter of fact let's instead of doing this with deal damage let's just use the event any damage because that also sends through a flow that we can use and that's just as easy as that now i have put the cube over here in the level you can see when the game starts it starts with full health but if we press the f key for like the debug key that we set up it will start dealing damage to it and that is all being updated to the widget automatically anytime the actual health value gets updated so this will no matter what happens this will always display the exact proper value there's no way to update the health value without it now reflecting into the health bar which is really quite nice again this is a little bit of a tricky situation because this is supposed to be used for replication uh for networking for multiplayer games but it's a feature that we can use even in single player games and it will just function properly and maybe save you a little bit of headache with updating values among different uh, types of functions and a very big thank you to all of my patrons. You can see them on screen right now. If you want to help out supporting the channel, there's a link down below in the description to the Patreon page. A huge thank you to my cave student tier supporters, Earl Monteville Erno, and my cave digger tier supporters, Sergey Thomas.